Hi, I'm Danny Tuffney. This is a quick demo of how to get test results from Google's Karma Test Runner displayed in the Visual Studio Test Explorer window. First thing you'll need is the Visual Studio extension you can see on the screen. Don't be fooled by the name, it does just pass XML. But that's all we need to get Karma's test results into Visual Studio. Next, you will need Node and NPM. If you don't already have them installed, you can get them as a single executable for Node and a zip file for npm from nodejs.org slash dist. Um, I've downloaded both of these and extracted them to a folder which has been added to my path so I can call them from anywhere. OK, so we'll start off with an empty folder. And the first thing we need to do is install Karma, and you can do that with npm install Karma. Next, if you want to be able to run tests in IE, you'll need to install the Karma IE Launcher, which you can do with npm install Karma IE Launcher. Finally, you need to install a small Karma extension I've created that will output the Karma results in the same XML format that the Visual Studio extension can read. For that, it's npm install Karma XML Reporter. OK, to run Karma, we first need a config file. Um, Karma's got an interactive script to help you create this. So if you execute node modules slash dot bin slash Karma and pass the argument in it. This will ask you a few questions. Um, the first one is which test framework you wish to use. I'm going to stick with the default, which is Jasmine. I'm not using require.js, so I'll say no to that. Next, you have to choose which browsers you want to execute the tests on. You can cycle through them by pressing the tab key. Um, some of them will require additional plugins, so I'm just going to stick with the easy ones, which are Chrome, PhantomJS, and IE. Next, you'll be asked for a pattern for your test files. Um, I'm going to stick with anything that ends with specs.js. Next is an option to exclude files from the patterns that we entered before. Uh, I'm not going to enter anything here. And finally, it will ask whether it should monitor your files and automatically execute changes as you save them. And you want to say yes here so that you get immediate feedback when you're making changes to tests. OK, that will create the config file for us. There's one small tweak that you need to make. So if you grab the path of the folder that you're working in um, and open up in Visual Studio, uh, I'm going to use Open Website because it lets me point Visual Studio at a folder without messing around with project files. If you open up the config file that was created and scroll down, you'll see a section for reporters. We need to add the XML reporter that we downloaded before to this array, uh, and that will make sure the results are written to disk as XML. OK, now it's time to create some tests. If you create a new file, um, it must match the filter that you gave to Karma's um, init command earlier. I'm going to call mine mytestspecs.js. Then write some tests. Um, I'm just going to create two basic tests, one that passes and one that fails. Next we want to fire up Karma to run the tests. We execute the same command that we did before, but we pass start instead of init. This will start the runner. Uh, 
Um, you'll notice some browser windows fire up. This is what Karma uses to execute the tests. We get one for each browser that we chose uh, in the config, except for PhantomJS because it's headless, so we won't see a window for that. You need to keep these windows open um, to execute the tests, but you can move them out of the way or send them to the back. You'll notice in the background Karma executed the tests and reported three success and three fail. Um, this is what you'd expect from the three browsers. Because this is the first time we've run the tests, the XML file didn't exist when we opened Visual Studio. So we need to refresh the folder so that Visual Studio will discover it and execute the test extension. You need to turn on the run tests after build option um, so that Visual Studio knows the tests are running. Um, when it's not expecting them to run, it seems to just ignore any test outcome. So just toggle this option on. Next, make a change to the specs file and press save, and this will force Karma to rerun the tests now that Visual Studio is correctly monitoring, and you should see them all appear with the correct status in the test explorer. And the browser that executed each test is included in the test name at the end. Tests that fail in Chrome will get stack traces, but for some reason this doesn't work in the other browsers. Um, it seems to be a problem with Karma or Jasmine. Um, for the tests that do have stack traces, you can click on them to navigate to where the failure was. And now, as we make changes to the code and click save, the tests will automatically execute in the background and update in the test window. And if you have any feedback, please do send it. Um, there's links in the description to the GitHub project and to my Twitter and Google Plus accounts.